Hey love bugs, it's your girl Jay, she cutie coming to you guys with another video. I'm recording a really quick face of the day. I tried to record this as a tutorial, but yeah, it didn't work out that way. Um, sorry if my radio is too loud. I have it on the intercom. This house is too big for me to be sitting here in silence and talking to myself. Like, it's just too big for all that. So, um, yeah, I'm coming at you guys with a really quick face of the day. Excuse my hair. I didn't do anything to it last night. I just put a bonnet on it and went to bed. And when I woke up, this is what I was left with. So, yeah, excuse this mess. Um, it's still 100% um, human, African-American, Dominican, uh, Native American um, hair. Yeah, basically this is my hair. Like, that's my heritage. So, this is my hair. Oh, with a splash of German. How you doing? So, um, yeah, so this is what this is. I was, uh, this is what this is in my head. <clears throat> this is what I was born with. So, anyway, um, going on to my face of the day. So, today's face, I'm just kind of chilling in the house doing the house mom thing. I'm not a mother for you guys who don't know. I don't have any children, but I'm babysitting my little cousin. She's at school, so I just cleaned up a little bit today, and now I'm just chilling. Like, I could do this for a freaking living. Like, pay me to sit at the house and clean up. Like, for real. I can do this. Get up, put it on the bus, you go to school, and I just have one kid. Honey is. Now, more than one, I'd rather work at a real job. But, <laughs> not saying that watching kids isn't a real job. I'm just saying, I'd much rather, uh, like, go out to work if I have to watch um, more than one child. But for the one kid, I'm good. Like, this is gravy. Put her on the bus, especially because she's seven now. She does a lot by herself. Get on the bus, go to school. You do you. I set the house. I'll clean up a little bit. Watch a little bit of TV. Listen to music. Make videos and beat my face. Like she, I could do this for a living. I'm just saying. Anyway, so um, real quick face of the day. Um, start with the eyes, of course. But before I even started my face, I prepped my lips with um soft lips by soft lips. Yeah, and this is cherry, and this has SPF 20 in it. And I just put that over my lips. For my eyelid primer today, I use two two face eyeshadow insurance. You guys know that I usually use. Urban Decay Power Potion, but today I wanted something different, so I used this um, because it was available to me to use, available for me to use today. So I went on ahead and used that. Um, so that was that. For my eyeshadow, I used my 100 piece eye, Elf eyeshadow palette. This is where majority of my, oh, this is where majority of my eyeshadows came out of. Um, so yeah, on my lid, the first color that I used is this green right here. And then I put this brown right here in my crease, followed by a little bit of this brown, just like a touch of that brown. Um, and that's what I did there. Then I put this orange color like above my crease. Creative Diva, every time she does an eyeshadow tutorial, she always puts like some type of orangey or reddish tone shadow in her crease. And I don't know, it just does something to the look. It just like brings the look completely together. So I did that today with this look and OMG, I am in love with the concept. So I'm gonna be doing that a lot from now on. It's like, I just really, really love how it looks on my face or on my eyes rather. Um, then after I got done blending everything out, my green was kind of like gone. Well, not really gone, it was still there, but it didn't have as much vibrancy as I wanted it to have. So I went on ahead and put um, Urban Decay's flip side on top of that. And then I put Half Baked in my uh, inner corner. That was that. Then I applied my highlight, and as my highlight, I used these two colors right here from the Elf 100 piece palette. And then after I applied my highlight, I realized I wanted something, I wanted it to be a little more smoky. So then I applied this matte black right here into the crease. This black is not well into the outer V type area. This black is not super duper 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 dark. It's not like super, it's not a black black, but it's still a really nice black. So I put that one on ahead and put that into my outer V. Um, for liner, I used my Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeliner in black. For mascara, I just used this NYC mascara that I bought for like a dollar at Walmart. And I keep it in my makeup bag. This is my makeup bag mascara because I just never know when I might decide I want to put on makeup. So I keep like products to do a complete face in my makeup bag. And this is my makeup bag mascara. And I really like it. 
it's about time for me to throw that away actually but we'll get there later um i filled in my eyebrows using my nyx nude nude matte eyeshadow in skinny dip and this is what skinny dip looks like and basically it's just a like a burgundy brown a burgundy red type color because i don't know if you guys can tell we kind of can my hair has red hues to it so because i colored it that color um so yeah um, I use this to fill in my eyebrows because it's not super duper harsh on me and I really really love it. Uh, I went to Sephora one day and I was like I want to fill in my eyebrows but every time I use brown or a dark brown or a light brown it doesn't whatever type of brown I use I just don't like it. She was like have you ever tried a red? So I tried a burgundy red there and it was gorgeous but I was not going to spend that much money on it. So I went to Ulta to see if I could find an alternative a cheaper alternative and I came across this and it was like buy one get one 50 percent off so i bought two of them for like next to nothing so really love this and i have this and i have my backup and this is strictly for my eyebrows every now and then i use it as an eyeshadow but that's very rare then i concealed my face using my studio finish concealer in nc50 concealed above my eyebrows and all that other good stuff using this um set my face with my studio fix powder in nw50 highlighted down the bridge of my nose my forehead my cubis bow and my chin with this L'Oreal Quick Powder that I bought from the Dollar Tree a couple of um, months ago. And this is the color Caramel, and it looks like this very pretty color. Um, great for my skin tone as a highlight. That's what it looks like. Very pretty as a highlight. Um, then for my highlight for my cheekbones, I use my e.l.f. Uh, Sunkiss Bronzer, which I love. Love, love, love that bronzer. For my blush today, I used... Ooh, this is wet. For my blush today, I use my Heather, no, not Heather Silk, my La Femme blush in Fuchsia, which is that one right there. Is that Fuchsia? Yeah, I have my La Femme blush in Fuchsia. I get Fuchsia and Magenta confused. I don't know why. I don't even remember what Magenta looks like. But anyway, um, there for my lips, I wiped off the chapstick and I lined my lips and filled them in with this Milani Easy Liner for Lips in Most Natural. And my lipstick I used today was my NYX Re lipstick, which is a gorgeous nude color. I really like this lipstick. I've been using it a lot lately. So that's that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, really didn't do too much else to my face today. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's pretty much it. And like I said, I'm just kind of chilling in the house. You can pay me to do this, like real stuff real stuff anyway so um to my future husband if you want a housewife hey but you can only have one child any more than that i ain't gonna be no housewife i'm telling you that right now mm -mm. just one one kid i'll be a housewife anything more than that i can't do it because they drive me insane but anyway that's pretty much it you guys i didn't really contour today i used my hyperpigmentation to my advantage and i did not um i did not conceal my hyperpigmentation because it kind of falls in the hollows of my cheeks anyway so it just gives me a natural contour so um that's what i did today and um yeah that's pretty much it you guys <sighs> once again this is the same african-american Cambo cambodian i'm not cambodian the same african-american native american crap that was in my head yesterday is mine all mine I, let me tell you real quick so I don't know where I went I went somewhere and my hair was looking a hot it was looking like it's looking right now like I don't understand why do people think that African Americans especially brown skinned African Americans cannot have hair like all brown skinned African Americans are snatched up bald like ain't got no hair all of them all of them according to society all of us are bald headed scalawags with no hair in the back and our hair be jailed up and weaved up our hair be looking messed up according to society so um where was I I was walking around somewhere in the boonies because that's where I am. And this lady was like, oh my gosh, your hair's so pretty. Where'd you order it from? Water? Time out. Water? Baby, this is mine. She was like, well, I didn't say it like that. I said, oh, no, ma'am, this is my hair. She's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, this is mine. She's like, wow, your hair's so pretty. Da, 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 da. Why do all brown skin girls got to be snatched up, gelled up? Ragged muffin, bald headed. Why we all gotta be bald headed? Why we all gotta have weave in the head? Why can't this be mine? Why can't this be my hair? I'm just saying, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with, oh, you're so pretty for a big girl. I have a problem with, oh, you're so pretty for a brown for for a brown skin girl. I have a problem with all of that. Like those are stereotypes. Just cause you're brown skin don't mean you're ugly. Just cause you're big don't mean you're sloppy. Like that don't make no sense. Like I, I'm. 
over it. Okay, judgment is over it. I'm over all of that. All of it. Because that be getting on my nerves. Like, who does that? Excuse me, I had to tame my Braxton moment. But really, who does that? Real, they, they need to get their lives. Like, really, who does that? Really? Because I'm big, I'm because I'm big, I'm sloppy. Because I'm brown, I'm ugly. Really? I'm, and, and, and this is weed. This is weed. Really? Who does that? They need to get their lives. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a good day. Like I said, I'm just chilling. I cleaned up a little bit. And now I'm just cooling it. Until my little cousin goes back home. Then we back on mommy duties. And yeah, but then she's going to bed at 8.30. So from 8.30 to like midnight, I'm free again. Yay. Oh. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm taking my freedom. I'll talk to you guys later. This is my jam. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Many kisses. This is Bye Loves.